Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City, this is CBS 2 News at 11. New tonight now, in an emergency, every second counts, but driving at high speeds can compromise the safety of first responders and civilians, too. Now there's a device that's helping some ambulance drivers operate more safely as they work to help others in a high-tech ambulance. A speeding ambulance with lights and sirens often means a life and death situation for a patient and potentially dangerous driving conditions for anyone on the road. Crowded intersections and high rates of speed are just two of the causes that lead to an estimated 10,000 ambulance crashes a year. Back in the early 2000s, uh, we had a, a, a couple of uh, severe accidents that, uh, that our staff were involved in, and it became a real issue for us. The Jersey City Medical Center took action to prevent future accidents, installing a safety device like this one under the driver's seat in each of their ambulances. That's tracking in real time what's going on with the ambulances in terms of speed, G-forces, uh, seatbelt usage, lights, sirens, and, and all sorts of other parameters. That means drivers are getting instant warning when they drive too aggressively. They're alerted with beeps and other sounds. When they drive too fast, take a turn too hard, or even operate outside of other established safety guidelines, they are constantly alerted. If I stop too short, that means I just got a mark. A mark that can call their driving record to the attention of administrators. We actually provide feedback to our drivers on a regular basis to let them know where it is that they stand uh, in comparison to other drivers. And we, they're able to look at how many times do they operate outside of the parameters. It actually makes it a lot safer for, for both us and for other people out on the road. In fact, this EMS crew says they're happy to have feedback from this technology. It's a hard balance because you want to make an appropriate response time, but it's, impulse, it's important to keep the safety of your crew and yourself in mind. They get that adrenaline rush, right? and they start, you know, as you said, they start speeding up and they start doing these things. And what this does is it doesn't delay your responding to the emergency. It makes sure that you're operating in a safe manner. Jersey City Medical Center is the only agency in northern New Jersey that's currently using the device, but there are conversations getting underway with the FDNY about its potential use in the city.